Inspired by the original Leilani Volcano from Walt Disney World in the 1970s, the Leilani Volcano 2.0 is a delicious variation from Smuggler's Cove that is sure to appease even the biggest sweet tooth. Stick around and I'll show you how to make this creamy coconut cocktail right at home. Hey everyone, it's Jeff and welcome back to Tiki Drinks at Home. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button below to make sure you don't miss out on any of the great content and cocktails we have headed your way in the very near future. So, if you happened to catch the last episode of Tiki Drinks at Home, you might have noticed things got a little awkward near the end. Check it out. Swear. So what do you, what? These are mine now, and you can have them back when you prove to me that you're more responsible with your life choices. <sighs> but honey, really, can we- Get in the car. <sighs> so. I'm happy to report that Rebecca and I, we sat down, we... Hey, babe, babe, come here. We sat down, had a little chat, and, and we worked things out, right, hon? Just remember what we talked about, moderation, okay? You have other responsibilities besides all this tiki drink. <laughs> okay, you honey, you know I forgive you. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, let's, let's do the cocktail. So the Lilani Volcano 2.0 comes straight out of the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book, and it is phenomenal. For those of you that aren't familiar with Mark and Kate's Smuggler's Cove Exotic Cocktails, Rum, and the Cult of Tiki, this is a must-have for any cocktail or rum lover. Not only does this book offer up more than 100 original and historic tiki cocktail recipes, but it covers the entire history of tiki beginning in the 1930s all the way up to present day and the founding of Smuggler's Cove in San Francisco. It also includes an entire chapter on rum, from how it's made to a full rum classification system that you can apply to the cocktails within the book. So let's build the Lilani Volcano 2.0. Now the awesome thing about this drink is it only uses five ingredients, which is actually pretty minimal for a tiki drink. It's really easy to make. It's something you can kind of make on the spur of the moment. You don't have to invest a lot of time or expensive ingredients with. Um, one of the most unique things about this drink is that it uses guava soda. Now the Smuggler's Cove book calls for Bundaberg, which I did happen to find at my local world market store. Um, and there are some other substitutes that you can use. I believe it's a Joritos. Um, has a guava soda that might be a little easier to find in your local grocery store. Um, but any kind of guava soda I found does work really well in this. So to start this one off, we're going to take a highball glass and we start with three ounces of guava soda. And we're gonna pour that right into the highball glass. All right, now set that aside. Next, you're gonna grab your shaker tin and we're going to add our rum. So this recipe only calls for one and a half ounces of blended aged rum. Um, and according to the Smuggler's Cove book, blended aged rum is really any rum that is five years or older um, and, and uses a, a couple different types of rum, whether it be distillation methods or different types of rum, like Barbados and Jamaican. So I've recently found Dorley's 12-year-old rum. This stuff is delicious and the price cannot be beat. I believe I get it for about $26, $27. And for those of you that have gotten into the higher aged rums, you can know that these, these, these aged rums can get quite expensive. I mean, it, it's easy to go into a store and drop, you know, 100 bucks a bottle. Um, but check out Dorley's. Um, they have, a, I believe, an eight-year and a 12-year. The 12-year is really, really good. Um, it's got a really nice mouthfeel. Um, it's, it's very rich, but it, it's, it doesn't have that overpowering like Jamaican rum um, funk that you often get by, by some of these rums. So it, it just works really, really well in cocktails. So we're gonna take one and a half ounces right into the shaker tin. And then we're gonna follow that up with one and a half ounces of pineapple juice. and then three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then finally, my wife's favorite, cream of coconut. One ounce of cream of coconut. Right into the shaker. All right, fill your shaker tin up with ice. Put that top on and shake. 
All right, we got it nice and frosty, nice and cold. And what the recipe calls for is to take your highball glass and then we're gonna double strain this right into the glass, no ice. And then gently top it off with additional ice inside of the glass. For a garnish, the recipe calls for an editable flour. I've had a lot of trouble finding some of those around here. And, and to be honest, I don't put too much time into the garnishes. I just, I don't have that type of time. Um, I just kind of want to get to drinking it. So if I have company over or I'm, I'm looking to dress this up, I, I do take a little umbrella and a straw. And there you have the Lilani Volcano 2.0 from Smuggler's Cove. So definitely a fun little cocktail. Definitely goes a little bit more on the sweet kind of desserty side, but we've been guilty of having this as our normal kind of dinner cocktail. Uh, so let us know, uh, make it, uh, see, see what you think. Let us know, do, do you love it, do you hate it? Uh, do you think it's more on the dessert side? Do you think it's more on the dinner side? <coughs> oh, hey, you're back. <coughs> oh, that, did you know that my cocktails bring all the wives to the bar and they're like, it's better than yours. Dang right, it's better than yours. I could shake it, but I'd have to charge my- How gross. Ugh. Honey, come on, that was good, right? They're gonna love that. I, I, like, I thought that was good. I thought it was pretty dope and fly. <laughs>